Currently, the DC Cinematic Universe is in shambles. It's a reason why DC poached James Gunn from the Guardians of the Galaxy. They need him to take his gun and blow the whole DC Cinematic Universe up, which is unfortunate, but we all understand why. DC wants their live action films to match the same energy as their animated films. DC has been killing it with their animated films. I love most of the content that they have on HBO Max, and guess what? They have a new one on the way that's called Batman The Doom that came to Gotham. It'll drop March 28th, 2023 on Blu-ray and streaming service. The film is based on a limited three issue comic run that printed from 2000 to 2001 with the same name. It's set in this alternate universe where Bruce became the Bat during the early 1900s Industrial Revolution. Admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of this take on Batman, seeing as it strips a lot of what makes Batman cool, which are his gadgets. I mean, they're here, but not to the same extent, seeing as much of his tech wouldn't make sense in this time period. He basically has the Batarang in his hands. That's it. I was under the impression this style of Batman would make up for the lack of tech by leaning more into the detective side of things. After all, who doesn't love a good murder mystery? But sadly, that's just my ignorance on full display. The Dune that came to Gotham is more of a mystical type of Batman movie, which might sound confusing, but allow me to explain. Now, I enjoy the majority of the recent DC animated films, but I am not a huge fan of the Doom that came to Gotham. Now, as stated earlier, I enjoy the majority of the recent DC animated films, but I'm not a huge fan of the Doom that came to Gotham. Reason being is because it doesn't feel like a Batman movie to me. I was utterly confused at what I watched. This felt more like a Constantine movie starring Bruce Wayne if Constantine had no access to dark magic. Without spoiling anything crazy, a conspiracy has been unraveled in the city of Gotham involving the four power families. The city of their past are coming back to haunt the city and now demons and villains are spawning everywhere and it's up to the bat and his friends to stop them the one positive i will give this film is the production quality the animation and voice acting is on point later in the film there's some really cool fight scenes on display because of how the lighting was used to reflect off of the characters i was also pleased by some of the characters reimaginings the film kicks off its opening scene with the penguin being butt naked in the middle of the arctic he may have not been drawn in his classic suit but it was nice to see the animators provide him with thicker skin so his butt didn't be come chapped. For me, that's where the positives end. I wouldn't define this film as bad per se, but more so, it's just not for me. I think the pacing was off. They tried to cram three books into its 88 minute runtime, so nobody felt flushed out. And I'm talking about Batman all the way to every villain that appears, and there's a lot of cameos in this film. Before one character can shine, another one is introduced, so it's hard to understand anybody's motivations in the story. The action was lackluster for me as well. I think it's worse here too, because once again, this is a Batman film without his crazy arsenal. I think this film deserves some solid hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes. You get a little of that later in the film, but most of the doom that came to Gotham leans into spectacle. It's just a lot of explosions, fire, and occult magic to distract you from some of the plot holes and inconsistencies. In my humble opinion, this film is for the hardcore fans of the book series it draws inspiration from. I'm not sure if the doom that came to Gotham will suck in any new eyeballs to the DC Comics ecosystem. Batman fans will probably add this one to the Blu-ray collection, but streaming this when it drops March 28th will probably be a better option for most people. The fact that I can barely provide much perspective or jokes on this film like I normally do in my videos should tell you everything you need to know about this movie. But hey, I'm just saying.